Yo, what is going on, you search and destroy savages? It is your boy Tupac back again today with some more Black Ops 3. But Jesus Christ, your inboxes, or not your inboxes, your sub boxes, should I say, have probably been spammed to hell, like literally obliterated with this new Call of Duty news. Like today has been a massive day for Call of Duty. Like I've been sitting on my computer all frigging day watching Call of Duty champs, and man, it has been. It's been fun, like I've had a good time, but your boy Optic is already in the loser's bracket, but l let's get into that later. We need to talk about the new Call of Duty. By now, you guys would have all seen gameplay on the new Call of Duty, and I, w I want to be optimistic. Like, I want to say the next Call of Duty will be good. Like, that's what I want to say, but boys, I swear Activision literally wants to grab a dildo and shove it that far up our asses. Like, what the hell was I spectating? Like, you could have convinced me Titanfall 2 was the next Call of Duty. What I was spectating, I knew, even knew the map. I knew the map Terminal was the first gameplay I was watching. And, like, the more I watched on it, the more I just wanted to click off. Like, I want to love this game. I'm giving you guys my honest to, like, God, like, review on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare from what I've seen. Like, yes, I haven't played it, but... Just from looking at it, like, I am not excited. To say the very least, I am not excited. Like, come on, Infinity Ward. Like, are you just putting everything in your frigging game that everybody hates? Like, did you just combine everything that everyone hates about Call of Duty and put it on the one game? Like, variants are back in Call of Duty. Like, I've been pissed off about the supply drops in this game. It's like it's unfair that they'll get, like, guns like the friggin' HG-40, which isn't even good. Weapon variants are back. Someone's gonna have a better RK-5 than you. Someone's gonna have a better M8A7 for you, for example. Like, theirs is gonna shoot faster. Theirs is gonna have less recoil. They have the advantage over you simply because they got lucky in a supply drop. Like, the, the, the system is back. The bullshit system is back and bigger than ever by the looks of it. Also, laser guns in Call of Duty. Like, did they not get the message from Advanced Warfare? Was anybody looking forward to the frigging laser beams in Call of Duty? Like, literally, that was probably one of the most hated things about AW. Screw the advanced movement. I don't want frigging laser beams in Call of Duty. Like, that doesn't need to be in Call of Duty. So what do they do? They put frigging laser beams everywhere. Like, half the guns that looked like were frigging laser beams. Like, the rant goes on, boys. Like, I'm pissed off if you can't tell. So many YouTubers are trying to be posit positive about the gameplay, trying to put a good note on it, but your boy is being straight out honest. Like, don't get me wrong, I want to love this frigging game, but when they give us gameplay like that, when all I see is frigging laser beams and, like, crappy-looking graphics in, like, an outer space terminal airport that looks like it should be on the moon, not a Call of Duty map, it just, it just makes me, like, hate the game before even playing it. That being said, I might have some bias. Like, I've wanted to like this game. I, I sat down and was like, we haven't seen any multiplayer yet. Like, is the campaign we can't really go off, but we can pretty much go off the campaign. Like, why did I be optimistic? I was just lying to myself. Because this game literally looks like a pair of arse cheeks. Like, you could make a prettier looking pair of frigging arse cheeks than this Call of Duty. Like, who the hell is the developer of this game? Where is David Vonderhaar when we need him? Imagine David Vonderhaar working for Infinity Ward. He would literally need to get his whip out and start cracking these guys over the head. Like, I, at the same time, I haven't played this game. This is just my first thoughts. This is my honest to God first thoughts about a game. Keeping in mind that I hated the look of Call of Duty Ghost when I first seen it. And it ended up being my favourite Call of Duty. That being said though, like, it doesn't look like a good Call of Duty. They look like they added everything into this Call of Duty that everybody hates about Call of Duty. Like, I'm surprised there's no death streaks in this friggin' game. Like, seriously, that's how bad everything that's added into it. I would not be surprised to see death streaks. I would not be surprised to see Final Stand come back. Like, the kids getting the best score streaks in the game just from dying five times in a row. Like, not only are specialist abilities and weapons now available at the same time. Like, I can have an Annihilator, for example, and in Invis, like, unlocked on my character all in the one time. Like, these stuff are being added to the game for noobs. Like, I hate to be honest, but this stuff in the game, like, specialist weapons and specialist abilities are for noobs to have fun in Call of Duty. Kids that can't be good at the Call of Duty, can't get their legit score streaks, they add stuff like specialists, 
specialist weapons that are guaranteed to be earned over a period of time for the average players. And what these average players end up getting is these amazing specialist abilities and weapons that'll end up killing better players. Like, it's, it's, Call of Duty is literally looks like it's being made for babies. Like, they should put a diaper on the frigging package. Like, not only that, but their pre-order bonus for this next Call of Duty is a frigging pair of socks. Like, who the hell is working for Infinity Ward? And what is he doing not in jail? Like, in prison for the crime of making such a crap Call of Duty. And I'm literally saying this before I've even played the game. Like, that's how much I'm hating what I'm seeing. Like, let me know. Like, write down in the comment section below. Don't take my word for it. Have your own opinion. Some of you guys might actually like this. Because I'm coming off a bit of bias. Like, I hate seeing new stuff. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, like, it, well, this stuff looks like new trash stuff, but let's be honest, some of you guys might actually enjoy what you see. Feel free to say that in the comment section below, because I know a lot of people might actually like what they see. Like, I got a bit of bias saying this, Call of Duty Ghosts, I hated the hell out of that game. I, by the look of the game, I thought this was going to be terrible, and it ended up being my favourite Call of Duty. So maybe I do have a bit of bias, but frankly, from what I've seen, it looks like ass. But that's where I want to know your guys' opinion. What do you think about the game? Don't take what I'm saying. Saying, like as like the word of law or the frigging Call of Duty Bible. Let me know your guys' opinion. I swear they're making this game just to sell copies. Like they're not making this game for us to have fun. Like they're not adding variants into the game for more enjoyable experience. Like little no thumbs Timmy getting a frigging the best gun in the game that you'll probably never get for six months and being able to shit on you since you got lucky in a supply drop. They're not making variants in the game because we enjoy them. They're putting variants in the game simply because they can make money off them. Like it's look looks like the Infinity Ward makes games to make money. They don't care about the fans. Like, they're not, at this point in time, Call of Duty looks like it is going downhill. Like, from the viewership standpoint, from, like, copies sold, from pre-orders, like, if you guys don't know, Call of Duty looks like it's going downhill. Like, a lot of people are saying Battlefield is gonna kill Call of Duty. Let's be realistic about it. It's not, Call of Duty is not dead yet, but it is on a downhill track, and this game is not doing it any justice. Like, I guarantee you, despite everybody saying Battlefield, one is going to sell more copies and get a kill cod. The frank, ma the matter of fact is that Call of Duty will still sell more than Battlefield this year. We've still got more pre-order bonuses without any multiplayer information until now. And now that there's multiplayer information out, like I think there's a better confirmed as well. There's going to be more people pre-ordering it. Like Call of Duty at this stage is going to sell more than Battlefield. But it's going to get to the point if they keep releasing crap that they won't have the fan base they once had. Call of Duty fan base has been massive and one of been the biggest first person shooters for years now but I feel like the developers are killing their own game like they're choking out the fan base to the point where the fans won't come back like Call of Duty is not dead yet but I have a feeling it's dying and if they keep releasing crap like this and not listening to their fans and simply try to make money off them then Call of Duty is on a downhill track Anyway, that's enough of me ranting about the new Call of Duty, which I do not like the look of, as you guys can probably get the general idea by me ranting so much about it. I'd like to talk about Call of Duty Champs. I don't know how many of you guys are following it, but all the ANZ teams, like the Australian New Zealand teams, have actually been knocked out, and even Optic Gaming is now in the loser's bracket. They still stand a chance of winning it, they just gotta go on a loser's bracket run. But I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Anyway, that is all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to titty smack that like button and if you're not subscribed hit that one too thanks guys